So we've heard numerous times over today and yesterday that molten salt reactors really are the best technology for harnessing the power of thorium as a fuel. So taking this on board about two and a half years ago, we saw the need for this project. And um, the project, to say, is looking at is a molten salt reactor prototype really feasible, in particular in the UK, because we have UK funding, UK government funding. In addition, we looked at the MSR status of activity internationally, and we did an evaluation of the various commercial designs that exist. But before I go any further, most of you should know what a molten salt reactor is, just briefly for any of those of you who don't. You, this is a very generic molten salt reactor here, um, actually from the Generation 4 forum website. The fuel uh, salt is a liquid and circulates through the core, typically in a graphite moderated core, but that changes. As the fuel is liquid, um, you don't have a meltdown. That uh, accident scenario just doesn't exist. It operates at higher temperatures, so you have higher efficiencies. You can, most of the fission products, the troublesome ones, the gases, bubble out naturally. You can uh, assist that with the various reprocessing techniques. And you can use various fuels, plutonium, thorium, uh, uranium. It's quite flexible and diverse. All of these benefits bring one main thing, and that's it can be a cheap technology. It can be the cost estimates at the moment uh, come out on par with coal, and that's what's really revolutionary here about this. If it's so good, why isn't there one? It's the question most people ask when they hear about it. Well, there has been. The very first one was a molten salt reactor built by the US um, Air Force. It was built for an aircraft, uh, ran for 100 hours successfully on the ground, and they built it cold up in the air. It was a ludicrous idea, so thankfully it didn't actually take off. Flying uh, radioactive liquid uh, above your heads, not great. Thankfully, well, not thankfully, but the uh, inter uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles um, were invented that stopped that. But it did lead on to the successful uh, MSR experiment, which ran for four years at eight megawatts. Most of the designs we see today actually originated from that concept, uh, along with the um, two and a half gigawatt breeder version, which is a design done in Elk Ridge also. That's well known. First up, our feasibility study. Um, it was a year-long study funded by uh, a UK government grant. We'd look at various MSR configurations, so it's not research and development specifically. We'd look at the licensing regime, um, look at various sites in the UK, and carry out a public opinion poll on advanced nuclear. We also wanted to have a look at the role of a prototype in the UK. Um, first step to do all this was to gather a team. So we had quite a strong supervisory panel. Um, Professor Derek Frey, Director of Research at University of Cambridge. Uh, Professor Paul Madden is chemist and provost of Queen's College, Oxford. And Dr. Jeff Parks is senior lecturer in nuclear engineering in the University of Cambridge. In the middle are the, the three project directors. And then we had a, a large team. The bulk of the work was done by Fraser Nash Consultancy, uh, one of the leading nuclear engineering firms in the UK. We had a recently retired uh, a regulator, David Glasbrook, on our team, and nuclear engineers and, and, and various... The first step after that, then, was to actually look at the MSR scene internationally. And obviously, this is led uh, by the Chinese. They have a program going on, um, about 500 million US dollars with 600 staff. The Chinese need thorium molten salt reactors. They need clean fuel. They have to do something about it. And that's why they have this large program. Um, it's not going as quickly as they planned. Um, their staff are very young. Out of the 600 people, the average age is 31. Um, but they're really trying to get the basics and then move on forward. There's a lot of collaboration going on with the United States at the moment. Um, the Chinese are looking for a 2 megawatt liquid prototype first, along with a 10 megawatt solid version, which is in development now. And the collaboration with the States is on their solid field FHR. So um, we also some of the other uh, activity internationally. We heard a bit about the SAMAFAR program and the, the molten salt uh, fast re reactor. I won't, I won't go into that any further. But then um, we shortly said six designs. These are really the commercial designs. So we'll have a look at a couple of them. Many of these guys are here speaking today and tomorrow. Transatomic power. Um, Porcon reactor is a really based on the MSR experiment, uh, based in, in Florida and the States. Um, they'll be presenting tomorrow morning. They are thorium uranium fueled. Uh, Multex Energy has a stable salt reactor, again, presenting this afternoon. Terrestrial Energy has the uh, integral molten salt reactor. 
and Seaborg Technologies with the Seaborg Waste Burner, and Flybe Energy presenting later on today with the liquid, flu liquid fluoride thorium reactor, the lifter, and that's a two fluid breeder based on thorium. So the process to look at these, um, to make a short list of all the activity and the designs that exist, because there's a lot of them around the world. Um, we need to have a molten salt as fuel and coolant. Some configurations just have a molten salt as coolant. Uh, they needed to have a commercially active team to actually uh, do something and get a pilot scale plant built, uh, and particularly in less than 10 years is the restriction. The technical review, um, was most of it was done by Fraser Nash Consultancy. They looked at material selection um, and handling, safety analysis, operability, and the big one is licensability. Most of the interesting review came from that section. So taking all this information together, we were able to class the different reactors and um, give them scoring on various headings. You can't see very clearly here, but effectively you have some main headings of technology, safety in the environment, security, the simplicity, licensability, and, the, uh, and then general characteristics. So several people from the team gave input, and we had uh, international input from the International Thorium Organization in Japan and um, Thorium Molten Salt uh, Organization in Japan and from Oak Ridge. Looking at economics, um, the National Nuclear Laboratory looked at small modular reactors um, being comparable with the new PWRs at Hinkley. The costs are £84 per megawatt hour, which is close to the strike price at Hinkley, um, 92.50. Um, MSR uh, vendor capital costs are, are, are really coming out quite affordable. Um, they're coming out comparable with coal from several of them, depending on the design, uh, at £2 a watt. Um, that's what's really going to change uh, the scenario here. This, this, this is affordable, and the technology is ready, ready basically now, without further science. Uh, also, MSR fuel costs are slightly lower due, due to the higher burn-up. Not that relevant, because uh, nuclear is cheaper. And then operational costs are pretty similar. So um, just to reiterate, our report's available online there, energyprocessdevelopments.com. Please have a read. And uh, thank you very much.